Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's 7 p.m. and time to begin our special meeting of the Yukon Planning Commission. Uh, our first item will be the invocation given uh, by Commissioner Davis, followed by the flag salute led by Commissioner Beaver. Would you please stand? Roll call, please. Chairman Taylor. Here. Vice Chairman Doggett. Commissioner Davis. Here. Commissioner Smystrala. Here. Commissioner Beaver. Here. Item one is a visitor section. If there's someone here and uh, that would like to address the Planning Commission about something that is a non agended item, this would be the opportunity to do that. You step to the microphone and State your business. Seeing none, we will proceed. We have two items uh, to consider tonight. Item number, uh, the first item is consideration of a request by Johnson and Associate Incorporated on behalf of Yukon Crossings LLC for a preliminary plat of Yukon Crossing Edition located on the northwest corner of Yukon Parkway and Main Street, Highway 66. This track of land contains uh, 49.4133 acres, more or less. And I'm not going to read the entire legal description of the property. It's, it's on Old Mustang Road or Yukon Parkway. It's on the west side. And it's north of our Main Street. Does everybody understand where the piece of property is? Our uh, request is to have a preliminary plat on this piece of ground. Uh, for the purpose of development. It's not a zoning situation. The zoning is already set on it. The zoning is set for C3. If Is there anyone here? We have several people in the audience that would like to ad address the Planning Commission concerning the pl preliminary plat of the entire piece of property. Okay, uh, does staff have anything additional, Mitchell, that you'd Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't come to the microphone, please. Let's give your name and your address. You people have to jump up if you want to. Sorry about that. Uh, my name is Jeff Beheimer, and I'm at 905 T Rose Drive in the Rosewood Edition. Okay. And so there's a there are several members of our HOA that are here tonight, and so we just wanted to address some of the concerns that we had in regards to the development of that particular piece of property, and I believe the uh, neighborhood Walmart that is what that's what we've seen that's going to be going in there so um, we have uh, I just wanted to name off a couple of the concerns that we have and then we have some other uh, I think there's another gentleman that's a part of our HOA that wants to add some things uh, from a different perspective but uh, some of the things that we we see are obviously with that being developed uh, there's gonna be some things that happen with traffic um, the property value is probably the main concern that we have is how is that going to affect the property value of our homes that are there. Um, privacy, the lights at night, um, and then also how are people going to be able to access that particular property? Is there going to be an access road? Um, are people going to be, is that going to increase traffic in our neighborhood, uh, which already has um, additional traffic because of, of Ranchwood Elementary and other things that are in the adjacent neighborhood? And um, we also, I don't know if it's, if it's known at this time, but we wanna, we'd like to know if there's any additional information in regards to what else is going to go there. Is there a plan for that? Or if it's just gonna be at this time, the, the, the Walmart, um, is there plans to develop other businesses and things like that? So um, 
Does anybody else have anything to add? I can answer some of that. Um, this is on the preliminary plat is on the whole piece of ground, what we're taking up now. Okay. Uh, the final plat is our next item, which is concerning the seven acres on the very south east corner of the property of that northwest corner, right down by the corner. And uh, uh, the, the access, I believe right now, there'll be one access off of uh, Yukon Parkway and one access off of 66. And uh, so as far as other businesses coming in, Mitchell, I don't think we're aware of anything at this time. The developer hasn't uh, spoken to us about any other development, but there will be two drives onto Mustang Road or Yukon Parkway. Two drives, okay. Mm -hmm. And one onto Main Street or 66. There'll be, it's basically right across from the church. Right. Is, is a, my question that, that I had was, um, you know, there is on the, uh, if you go west from there, there's a, a dead end to a uh, service road, an access road. Right. Is that going to be extended to go down? The recommendation from staff is not to extend the access road. Uh, At this time? No, it's not recommended because of the way, if you look on the south side when you queue in and try to come in to 66, you're back to the traffic. So the staff is recommended not doing that. Uh, you know, if you'll notice in a lot of roads anymore, the access roads are kind of not done. If you get up a Northwest Highway in Oklahoma City, they don't have any access roads there. So we're recommending not doing that. And the city engineer has been involved in that discussion as well. This, what we're going to do tonight is vote on the preliminary plat, which will be a recommendation to the city council. A lot of your concerns that you're bringing up tonight will need to be brought. City council has final say. We're just a, a preliminary board, you might say. Uh, but the, uh, as far as the, the other businesses, like you said, there's gonna, there will probably be a developer by the whole piece of ground, or, or a majority of it. Uh, and then businesses come to that developer, and then they come to staff, the city, and decide you know what they want to put in there uh, from your y'all's property in the uh, Rosewood edition I believe the back of your property to the what's going to be the north edge of this property will be over 700 feet at this time which is two football fields in length um, that's all I, I I've, I've looked at it from that point of view for you know for the folks I don't Trying to, I'm thinking of the map in my head. You know, from a, you're saying two football fields from the back of, of the back of the homes in the front part of our neighborhood. From the people that back onto the back of that piece of property, to the, up to that north or to that south east corner where mm -hmm. the preliminary, the final plat is going to be from the edge of their property mm -hmm. back to the say the house directly, the first house say as you turn in, be over 700 feet. Mr. Chairman, the yeah the plat actually says 637 feet 0 0.93. 637. I'm sorry, I, I said 700. It's 637. Okay. So it's it's a piece of piece. But again, your concerns can be addressed to the city council okay. before anything else is done. Because all we're going to do is is doing the plat. Good to see you again. I was here Monday, Stephen Faisal, 1008 T Rose Drive. Um, and I see Mr. Baker's here. Appreciate him being here. I actually grew up with his sons uh, in Northwest Oklahoma City. So um, they've actually been uh, to date nothing but great neighbors and very accommodating uh, to those of us that live there. But, um, you know, I'm excited about the future of Yukon as you all are and, and as the Planning Commission. I, 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 the main thing I wanted to say tonight was. Because uh, I know you took notes and heard what I said the other night. Um, 
but you're talking in terms of oh it's just a preliminary preliminary plat that's the beginning guys that's, that's true. the genesis of this and there's been no meaningful stakeholder engagement let's do that before we start talking about planning let's talk with people that are going to be negatively affected by this you say it's just 600 feet that's 600 feet from my house from my four-year-old from my backyard smell travels with a south wind coming across that detention pond in the back without proper mitigation efforts it's going to smell great that's 600 feet to a gas station. I passed three gas stations on the way here, and a gas station is part of the southeast corner of this development from the preliminary plat that's been floating around that we've seen. There's been no engagement with stakeholders. We should do that as part of the process before we start talking about, oh, it's, this is the very beginning of the city process. Let's talk to everybody that's affected by this. That's how this th should work. That's being a good neighbor. And I'm not picking on Mr. Baker when I say that. That's just, that the city should represent its citizens, especially those who are going to be negatively impacted by this. Or in, your, negatively. in your opinion, negatively impacted. I'm not sure what is positive about having a grocery store 600 feet from my house that's going to lower my property value, increase traffic, increase noise. I already have hundreds, well, I say hundreds, at least a dozen cars every Sunday use my driveway for a turnaround because we don't have adequate in and out of the life church and I don't begrudge the church they're doing a great thing but we don't have enough ingress and egress to get onto Yukon Parkway out of the church they come into the neighborhood and turn around people use the neighborhood as a cut through to get to Ranchwood quicker there are legitimate safety concerns with this there are legitimate environmental concerns with this so to tell me it's my opinion, no, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about with all due respect. Well, I, it's a, correct. It's your opinion. What gas station are you talking about? On the preliminary plat we've seen that's been floating around that we received Monday before the uh, meeting, it says that here's the Walmart, and on the southeast corner of that it says fuel station or gas station. So I, I don't know if it's part of the Walmart. That, it, and we, I may be wrong, but what I've seen, and that's part of it, exactly what I'm talking about. No one knows what's going on. It's not been shared. We haven't seen it as stakeholders. You say it's just 600 feet. It's 600 feet. It impacts me. It's not my property. It's zone commercial. I understand that and I recognize that, but let's talk to the people around there before we get into this whole planning phase. Let's, let's come together as a community and let's present a solution and something that we can all get behind as citizens of Yukon and come to you guys together. I, I Not tell just you as a developer and then get the city involved and then you've got several residents fighting the Chamber of Commerce who's excited about taxes and growth and being on a, on a list and we're all excited about those things too but not to the detriment of our everyday life. So I think it's incumbent upon the Planning Commission and upon the City Council to say let's step back Let's do some meaningful stakeholder engagement with the people that are going to be affected, and then we'll move forward. Especially when there's other viable options around. Thank you, sir. Anything else? No, I was hoping you guys had questions for me or for us. No. So I mean, okay, once so again, I mean, this came up when I was on the council years ago when we were building, at that time, the Albertsons grocery store. and the people backed right on the parking lot mm -hmm. and right behind the store one of the form uh, one of the future mayors that wasn't at that time lived right lives right behind the grocery store to this day and the the platting of it was done and all that set up then you work with the developer because we don't know for sure I mean, they could pull out. They, uh, I haven't, I don't, all I know is what I've read in the paper. Respectfully, they're making the city the middleman, and I'm saying let's engage the stakeholders and the city say, y'all figure it out, and then, then we'll do some talking. Yeah. Let's all come together. Thank you. Anybody else wanted to address this? Anything different, right? 
Different item, okay. Uh, my name is Corey Stegman, live at 901 T Rose Drive. Um, I guess my biggest concern for this development is uh, the traffic. Uh, I have two children live in the neighborhood, along with many other children in the neighborhood. Um, I guess, you know, from talking with police, uh, you know, we've had people doing 49 and a 25 in that neighborhood. Um, I've had to call the Yukon School District uh, for school buses uh, speeding down uh, T Rose Drive. So my, my, my questions and concerns would be, uh, what, is, what are we gonna do as far as traffic flow? Um, and also, you know, the stoplight there on uh, 66 in uh, Yukon Parkway. Um, you know, going to work every morning, we gotta sit there and we gotta wait, uh, you know, for, for that stoplight for, for longer than you ever should have to at a stoplight, uh, just to turn. Um, so I guess my, my question is, what's, what's the, uh, you know, how are we gonna, how are we gonna um, manage the traffic flow? That, I agree with you, the intersection, which is a state controlled intersection will have to be done through the state. They need to rework the whole intersection. I think that will be done someday, especially coming on the south side. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. And but as far as in the neighborhood, it must be the people that live in your neighborhood that's speeding through there. They, you know. No, uh, no, no, that, that's, that's that, yeah. That is, that, that's, that's totally incorrect, totally incorrect. Well, the people in uh, Stone Mill had the same, same thing. They said that people were speeding through their addition going into Parkland. High school kids were coming out of the high school, going up that way and around. And the city put in, uh, put the, uh, the, the thing that registers the radar, that registers speed limits, and it slowed people down and then they reworked it because we've had that in our neighborhood i've lived there three years and we've had that that same thing in our neighborhood for for two for two separate times that i know of um and yeah it helps for you know the week that it's in there um but that's it you know and then after that you know like i said we got we got yukon school buses speeding through the neighborhood um you know not only is that danger for everybody in the neighborhood but that's danger for everybody on the school bus um so you know and then you're talking about adding you know retail which is going to bring even more traffic and not uh, you know having two two entrances off of Yukon Parkway and only one off of 66 you know everybody who lives in the Ranchwood addition Preston Park they're gonna come through our neighborhood uh, and, and I totally disagree with this so uh, you know be like like it was stated before we need to have some type of plan uh, if we're gonna do this for traffic flow I think number one uh, you know if my kid gets hit, you know, he's a kid. He, he, he's going to make mistakes. He may go out in the road, but there's adults that go through the neighborhood that are doing 50 miles an hour. You know, it, someone's going to get killed. <laughs> so before we go anywhere, I think we need to address that. I think we need to have a plan for traffic, at least through that neighborhood uh, and that stoplight. I would tell you to come to the city council and discuss that or go to the, plant, the traffic commission and discuss that. There are venues to do that, correct, Mitchell? That is correct. All right, can we get a list of those venues so we know? So the we city council so meets on the first and third Tuesday of every month okay. in this room at seven o'clock. And I'm not quite sure when the traffic commission meets. The city, uh, the city staff would be able to tell you that during the day. They, they meet like we do when they have some business and probably once a month. All right, that's all I had. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. My name is Simon Gallagher. I live at 4108 Champlain Court. Um, I'm a board member with Rosewood HOA, and I just wanted to share with this commission um, that I have received uh, uh, comments from from quite a few neighbors who are very concerned about uh, this development and uh, the uh, items that you're looking at today. Um, one of the things that hasn't only partially been mentioned is how this fits in with the overall plans for, for the development of the city and revitalization of Main Street. Um, I'm concerned about the overall look of uh, of putting a neighborhood Walmart on this corner with a gas station and by the way that that drawing 
is something that's on the city of Yukon website that has the gas station on it is where I is where I saw that it's on with the Economic Development Authority I think you click on a link for them and that's where you go to just to, to see that uh, layout but I'm concerned with with the overall uh, appearance of that the aesthetics the aesthetic quality uh, I've looked at other neighborhood Walmarts um, around the around the metro area they have uh, pretty much lots of trees there's one in Edmond uh, that has a, a lot of trees and, and landscaping in front of it more than I normally see here in Yukon uh, there's one um, also in Oklahoma City at uh, Hefner and Rockwell that you you can hardly see that neighborhood Walmart uh, because of all the trees in front of it and so I would just hope that that's something that is taken into consideration um, to you know the aesthetic quality and then also we've mentioned the, the traffic at that intersection uh, we don't have crosswalks at that intersection and I mean Jackie C Cooper Jim is right across the street and my kids can't walk from my neighborhood less than a mile away to Jackie Cooper Jim because that's a very unsafe uh, intersection there's no crosswalks or anything like that for pedestrians and so pedestrian traffic is something uh, in, in our whole city that needs to be addressed and especially when we're putting in uh, a neighborhood Walmart which w kind of brings the idea of a neighborhood Walmart market that's a place where you walk to um, not drive to and so um, I would think that, that that would be increasing foot traffic and so just looking at that all together in the city's plans and just letting you know that, that there are people who are very concerned uh, about these plans and, and that um, people are being engaged and uh, the citizens are being part of that process. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? My name is Rod Baker and I represent Yukon Crossing LLC who has made this application for the subdivision of the property and I think that's the question at hand right now is the lawful subdivision of the property. Uh, our understanding was that they had met the, met the re, uh, requirements for that so we would ask for approval on the subdivision please. Thanks. Sir. Is there does any of the commissioners have a question for this gentleman or staff on this item? Mr. Chairman, uh, this is actually a reestablishment of the preliminary plat that had uh, expired because it was older than five years old. Mm -hmm. We'd like to point to you that Ordinance 758 that was done in 85 actually zoned the property. And then uh, you do have one uh, individual that shows support that I would want you to review that as well. And I stand ready to answer <coughs> any questions you may have in reference to the preliminary plat at hand. So part of that property is zoned R3 multifamily apartments is that correct no that that has gone away that went away when Rose uh, pedal was built in Rosewood okay so it's just C3 now the the C3 is 758 and then if you'll notice in your packet there is a little strip of R1 1162 that was done during the Rosewood and Rose pedal developments uh, it's in your packet We, just for the audience, we received uh, a person that is a member of the Homeowners Association and is very excited and happy about having it. Also sent along a, uh, a story, uh, I'm assuming from uh, a magazine, says where Walmart bills, higher home prices follow. I don't know. T Rose. I mean, it, it's, it's, let me, I'm sorry, let me see what she says. She lives on T Rose. Uh, it's, I serve, I served, I guess it's past tense, with uh, Rosewood Homeowners Association for five years. Anyway, is there any more information that we need up here among the council uh, commissioners? Would someone care to? <laughs> read the draft motion for the preliminary plat
I will. Okay. In the case of the preliminary plat application of the Yukon Crossing Edition, we have read the staff report and we received testimony at the public hearing. We find ourselves in agreement with the staff findings, including all plans and attachments cited in the staff report dated February 4, 2014. I move this item to be recommended for approval by to the City Council. We have a second. Second. A motion and a second to approve the preliminary plat. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Commissioner Beaver? Yes. Commissioner Smystrala? Yes. Commissioner Davis? Yes. Chairman Taylor? Yes. Our next item is the final plat. A request of uh, a consideration of a request by Johnson Associates on behalf of Yukon Crossing LLC for a final plat of the Yukon uh, Crossing Edition located on the northwest corner of Yukon Parkway and Main Street. And this plat contains 6.82326 acres. So just under seven acres. And it is on the very southern eastern corner of the property. I would ask if someone has, once again, the developer has met the requirements of Yukon and if you, you folks that have brought very good discussion, you need to discuss it at the city council meeting. Ours and there may be very well when the developer starts, if Walmart truly does come in there, may have discussion with homeowners about your concerns. As far as traffic, if the school buses are speeding, well then the police should be out there to give them a ticket or the school should show them, slow them down. And in case y'all haven't noticed, our city is full of traffic every place I try to get out of my edition in Parkland and I can't hardly turn left at certain times of the day. It's, I mean, it's just a fact of life. Our city's growing. We got growing things going on. And uh, these things are going to have to be addressed, certainly. So, uh, does the commissioners have, if there's anybody has another item or something else, you're, you're welcome to talk about it. If it's the same thing, well then, uh, I, once again, I would advise you to come to the council meeting when it appears on the council meeting. Do you know when this will go to the council? If approved tonight, it'd be on the March 4th city council meeting. I think it's March 4th. Be the first Tuesday night first of March. First Tuesday, yes, that's correct. Okay. So do we have, if the commissioners have no other questions, is, would someone read the uh, draft motion? I will do that. Okay. In the case of the final plat application for Yukon Crossing Edition, we have read the staff report and received testimony at the public hearing. We find ourselves in agreement with staff findings, including all plans and attachments cited in the staff report dated February 4th, 2014. I move that this item be recommended for approval to the City Council. We have a second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Chairman Taylor? Yes. Commissioner Davis? Yes. Commissioner Smystrala? Yes. Commissioner Beaver? Yes. I feel, I feel certain that every developer that comes into Yukon wants to be a good partner with the people around them. And there will certainly be time and room for input into this. Uh, businesses have certain requirements on site screening. Uh, the screening you were talking about, sir, uh, Edmund has one of the highest uh, requirements of trees and so forth. We just don't have that here in Yukon, but it could be negotiated with uh, the developer when they put the store in. Uh, fencing has to be uh, done by the business. Uh, they have to keep it up over the years. They can't just put it up and forget it. Uh, there's there's various things that you will be able to get accomplished uh, if this truly goes ahead and goes forward uh, with the proposed uh, store. So, uh, feel 
please be in, engaged in that in, in the council meeting. Staff, have anything else? No, sir. Mr. Counselor, do you have anything to, to add to what I've said here? No, sir. Commissioners, do you all have anything? Thank you, folks, for being here. Uh, we're adjourned until the March 10th meeting. No, Mr. Chairman, yes. you, got, you got several items here you need to go through. Item four, which is new business. We have no new business. I'm sorry. New business? None. We have no new business. Open discussion. We've had it. We're adjourned.